and you believe that 2023 is almost over. This can mean only one thing. It's time for us to look back at everything that has happened this year in the crypto industry. My name is Anna and let's get started. Let's kick things off with a big one. 2023 brought a blockbuster legal showdown as the US Securities and Exchange Commission unleashed lawsuits in the summer, targeting a list of cryptocurrencies accused of being securities, along with allegations of fraud, aiding money laundering, and violating sanctions. The Binance saga recently delivered its opening act with an admission of guilt on the part of Binance and Champagne Zhao, one of the largest fines, and seize its resignation from the post of CEO. The story is not over yet, though, as the trial will take place in 2024, but it will undoubtedly have serious consequences for Binance and the industry as a whole. But hey, silver linings abound. Binance proved it's no FTX 2.0. No capital exodus, no trust implosion, they weathered the storm. We can now see that CZ managed to maintain his reputation. Lessons learned, guys. Play by the rules, especially in the USA. Okay, lesson learned. Now to the card from drama of the year. XRP wins its case against the SEC. XRP price surged nearly 100% when the news broke, making XRP the fourth largest crypto overnight. However, we can see that in the long term, the news didn't become a strong catalyst for positive sentiment in the industry and had a limited effect, mainly on XRP itself. Nevertheless, a triumph against SEC is always a headline that is worth celebrating. The next big event in the industry was the launch of Base from Coinbase, the new layer 2 blockchain that uses optimistic roll-up technology quickly gained popularity among users and showed phenomenal growth figures right off the bat. The blockchain quickly became one of the top layer 2 solutions in terms of the total value locked, transactions per second, active users, and even the top 5 among all blockchains in terms of commissions. Fascinating. Notably, on August 21st, daily transactions on base surpassed 1.37 million, surpassing the combined results of Optimism and Arbitrum. Since its launch, the project has generated income of about $10 million and the number of network users exceeds 1 million. Base has demonstrated impressive development results in such a short period of time and will likely continue to be one of the top projects next year. Frantech gained mass popularity as a social fab project this year. Frantech appeared as a way to trade private keys that gave an opportunity to talk to famous crypto influencers. This concept quickly gained popularity not only among the crypto community, but also among other users and bloggers who began to create accounts on Friend Tech. The project has become one of the most popular in the social file segment in terms of the number of users and income. Perhaps Friend Tech has marked the beginning of a new type of social apps that will use the ideas of Friend Tech to attract users not only from Web3, but also from the Web2 space. SocialFi apps have huge potential for user onboarding on Web3 and mass crypto adoption. In 2023, Bitcoin ETFs took center stage, captivating the crypto world with the prospect of SEC approval. This regulatory knock could be a game changer, potentially kickstarting a bull run and luring in millions of dollars to fuel the crypto revolution. So far, the big win for the crypto industry has been the courts ruling on the need to review the SEC's decision regarding the Bitcoin ETF application submitted by Grayscale. The commission, which is notorious for its anti-crypto stance, refused to approve Grayscale Bitcoin ETF at first, and the court called it decision arbitrary and capricious. Now the SEC has to review the application again. These events became a catalyst for Bitcoin growth and increased optimism about the approaching start of a bull cycle. ETF approval from leading institutional players such as BlackRock will be a powerful trigger for the development of the crypto industry. However, today the SEC postponed the decision on approval of ETFs, so we will probably see a continuation of the story in 2024. The next crucial event of 2023 for crypto was the Chappelle upgrade on Ethereum in April. It consists of two parts, Shanghai and Chappella, with the former being the most expected as it made it possible to withdraw staked Ethereum from the Beacon chain. Validators now have more options to manage their funds. However, there was no mass withdrawal of Ethereum after the update. Quite the opposite, actually, there was an influx of Ethereum into staking. I am all in. 
Another trend related to Ethereum was the liquid staking protocols and the superstructure above them, the LSD5 protocols. Liquid staking allows users to maintain the liquidity of staked assets and receive additional profitability from them. LSD5 projects allow the use of liquid staking tokens in various DeFi strategies, for example, taking loans against collateral. All this has the potential to significantly increase the profitability of Ethereum compared to the basic concept of staking. 2023 was marked by the collapse of several banks associated with crypto companies and services. The most high-profile cases involved Silvergate and Silicon Valley Bank. The bankruptcy of these banks caused panic in the market and a decrease in the price of some crypto assets. Circle, the issue of USDC stablecoin was seriously affected as it kept a portion of its results reserves at Silicon Valley Bank. Amidst its collapse, USDC lost its pack to the dollar, which caused panic among investors. Luckily, the situation proved to be manageable and USDC was able to return to the pack. However, the collapse of large banks associated with the crypto industry did have negative consequences for the market, making it more difficult for institutional players to participate in the crypto market. So this is all we wanted to highlight from 2023. What a year! Which event was the most important for you? What are you looking forward to next year? Share in the comments and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. See you soon!